the Photoshop video tutorial with Sponge Ruckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can quickly add gradients to Photoshop. Quickly go over here to uh, your Finder. Obviously, on the PC, it's going to be uh, slightly different. It's the app data folder you want to go to when you actually go to your Explorer. Now, what you can do, just go here, go, and go to Folder, and go to your Library. Just select that and go to that. Once you've actually gone to that, just go to Application Support and then Adobe, and obviously depending on the version, and I'm obviously CC 2017, and then Gradients, and now you'll see a selection of the Gradients GRD files. These ones are actually from Graphic Extras. You can find lots of Gradients on Graphic Extras website and just add them to this location. You can also add them to the preset section under Photoshop CC 2017, but for that you need privileges, and I've actually got a non-privileged account that I'm using, so I've just added them to this section, that's the library section. Very quick and easy. So once they're there, let's now go to Photoshop, and you can see, just go over here, just select the gradient tool, and then go to the gradients themselves, just there, and you'll see the actual list there of all the GRD files that I've added to that folder. So they're very quick and easy. Just select it there, and it will just say, okay, and there's, they've been added. Now, if you actually want to load a lot of GRD files very quickly, and this is even easier, is just quickly, I'm just going to reset that, reset gradients, click OK. Just going to move that away. And I'm just obviously got these ones here, so I'm just going to select those and then just right click and then open with and obviously select version CC 2017. And then hopefully just come over here once it's done it, gradient tool, and you can see all the gradients. So very quick and easy to see all the gradients have been loaded into Photoshop. That's it. Another option, some versions, you can actually use the Photoshop file open command. But personally, I always prefer just the right click and open method. It seems to work much better. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.